We are live. Oh, I need to sort out my, my hair. <laughs> so, I intended to tie a uh, lap wing today. However, when I was looking at my uh, uh, fairy bluebird, let me just show you. I had it for, you know, maybe 10, 10 20 years. But the feathers are looking great. But I need to steam and wash them first. Then, then I can do, hopefully, a lap wing. <clears throat> so it looks intact. I think it has all the feathers needed to be able to tie uh, the lap wing. So I changed. So today we're going to do the black argus instead. I already have that one in my drawer <clears throat> or cabinet. <clears throat> However, I haven't tied it live. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, lovely pattern. So let me just change the camera angle. So we are focusing on the right stuff. Let me find focus. There we have focus. So let's begin. Uh, I'm gonna start with the oval silver tinsel in the back. And I'm going to do oval silver tinsel throughout the whole body because I think it, it gives more, more to the, the fly than just flat tinsel. <clears throat> Hi, Monty. Yeah, it's a great pattern. It's going to be nice. Really nice to tie it live. Hopefully it turns out well. So, let me start a few wraps of tinsel. And I, I tie on the same style hook that I did uh, with all the, the other trahans. Oh, I lost the grip on this one. So let me just restart there. <clears throat> ah, come on. It's better to hold it in hand. The, these tools are just rubbish. So, hand it is. Oh, looks better already. I think I'm gonna go with the next uh, turn today. There we go. So the one that was original scheduled for today, the lap wing, going to happen uh, next week. So I just moved around the schedule a bit. And it gives me time to uh, wash and steam the fairy bluebird. So let's go back a bit. From here, I'm going to add red silk. I'm just going to wax the thread first. <clears throat> there we go. Mm. 
So just securing the silk. Then we're gonna do tight wraps backwards and then forward again. Same as always. <clears throat> There we go. And then I can just show you guys. I have this uh, substitute that we're going to use. So that's going to be the wing. So, just wrapping everything backwards. <clears throat> then we go forward again. And there we go. So, I'm just going to tie that one in. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, securing it a bit. That will be sufficient. Just going back with the thread again. Then I can cut that one. <clears throat> so now it's time for the tail. Same as always, I just build up a bit of foundation to lay the tail on. But first I'm just gonna get a paper. I like to have like a black in the, the bottom when I'm tying, just to give some more contrast for myself. So there we go. A bit of wax. There we go. I prepared the tail just earlier. <laughs> I did catch one fiber. So I cut that one off. Now we have it completely centered. So tie in the whole tail here. And there we go. Tail in place. I'm gonna switch to black wax. And it's time for ostrich herd. And I lay a nice foundation with ostrich hurl on the on the hook, just in front of the hurl, because then you can do really tight wraps, and the hurl doesn't slip. So let me see that turn. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, it doesn't look right, so let me do it the other way. Now it looks better. Mm. 
really tight wraps. Yeah, securing the ostrich hull, tying in the stem a bit. <clears throat> And then we have a really nice tight one. So as, as I mentioned, then I'm gonna go with the oval tinsel body instead of flat. So I'm gonna use uh, Vanyard uh, number 16. <coughs> For both uh, silver and gold and the first one gonna be gold I'm just gonna cut this section yeah something like that I'm gonna put away the gold Adding some more backs to the thread just to make sure that the, the tinsel stays in place. It's way too soft, this wax. Don't really like it, but that's the one I got that is not dark. <clears throat> So, I will tie it in quite long distance because then I even out the, the area I'm going to wrap the tinsel on. So, I just tie it in the whole thing. We're going to have one, two, three section. One, two, three. So somewhere here, I think, will be good. Then, as you see, there's a bit of difference in, in size of um, the body still. So I'm just gonna use the thread I got actually to just build up a bit in the front. And the good thing with this thread is quite thin, so it doesn't build up that fast. I'm just gonna turn a bit so I can see properly. So from here, really. It's gonna take some time, but it's, it's worth it, in my opinion. And thread is cheap. So getting there. Something like that. I think that's efficient. We're gonna end up here when we are done. And then the next one. So yeah, let's do it. So I just need to press it a bit backwards a 
Jag ska den här med luck. Now let me see if I can get that one nicer. I think it's because the first layer. I need to go back with the thread and really make sure it's tied in just the head of the ostrich shirt. And then, yeah, it's still a bit different size okay maybe put some pressure there now it looks better if you can see <clears throat> Just going to make sure it's really tight. There we go. Well, today we have a small audience. Not bad. So, so you guys get get like a private session. So let me add a last turn there. I'm gonna stop here. Tie it in. That looks quite decent, I must say. It's okay. Yeah, you, you always, you, you should never, ever, you know, if you're not satisfied yourself, you shouldn't continue. You should just uh, re uh, redo or start all over again. Because if you let things slip you know if you're not satisfied with the tail in the end the tail gonna be the reason to why the whole fly looks wrong so it's simple things but so important so yes john uh, it's it's very very important not not to just let things go So I'm going to build up here a bit of volume. We're going to have V-links. And in this case, it's Indian Crow substitutes. <clears throat> uh, these ones are made by uh, David Kerr. Uh, fantastic ones. I like them a lot. So I'm just going to find uh, a few similar size. So I just put it on the table. There we have a small one. Because they should expand in size uh, forward, so to say. So I'm going to start with the Smaller ones. I didn't prepare because uh, you never know really where you want to start. So it's better to do it on the fly. Yeah, that one looks good. That's a pair. 
Can I just find another pair? Then we can continue tying. That is a good one. Well, all is good, of course, but uh, the size wise, uh, what I'm looking for now. Yeah, that could be something. So let's put everything back in the bag. <clears throat> there we go. And I think I'm going to start underneath. So let me just wax the thread. So then I'm just going to measure a bit. Don't want it to extend more than through the hard. Something like that. So then I just cut, cut away the section I don't want. So we got one thread already. Then preparing the next one. The same there, I'm just do some aiming. I think one is a bit shorter, so I'm going to remove a few strands here extra. There we go. And then just pair it up. Oops. There we go. I think it's going to turn out quite nice. Just cut off the stem while I hold it. There we go. Just gonna correct a little bit. And there we are. First one in place. <clears throat> so let's prepare the second one. <clears throat> yeah, it looks equal.
Gonna wax the thread before I do anything else. Next week on Friday, I got a day off due to uh, on call duties. So I think I'm gonna do a few videos that day, but everybody else will be working. So I'm gonna do them live, however, but uh, you will be available to watch them later if you want. So I think I'm gonna do a Megan Boyd fly uh, tied in hand. And then in the evening, I think uh, part two of this video would be nice. There we go. So now we just need to add an ostrich hurl there. Hi, Gary. Newfoundland, Canada. Such a nice place. How is the weather? Is it cold? A lot of snow. So just gonna add the ostrich hurl here. I use plenty of wax so the ostrich hull doesn't slip forward. And then just wax the thread so I can tie it in good. Oh, there we are. First step ready. Yeah, ton of snow and stormy. Yeah, I'm lucky here. We, we got uh, almost all snow is gone. But uh, yeah, it might come back. Who knows? So same here then, uh, except we're gonna go with silver tinsel. So I just need to find uh, one end, there we are. And cut the section of it. There we go. And uh, some wax to the thread. So I'm gonna give more attention to the that I tie in the tinsel uh, very very hard and close to the ostrich herd. Otherwise, it's gonna look bad when you start wrapping. So there we go. Just put that one away. I think maybe here would be sufficient. So I'm just gonna do the same here, using the thread to level out everything. I got a quite a thin thread, so it's gonna take some time, but uh, we're just gonna speed on. If you got any questions, just put it in the chat window. So just speeding up here.
it would go faster using some thicker material, but then it's uh, more steps. I'm a bit lazy today, so I just move on with this thread I got. Putting some pressure with the nails. Now it's starting to come together. Almost there, guys. I think that will be sufficient. So. Time to wrap the tinsel then. Just gonna turn and see. Yeah, it looks okay in there as well. So then we just start to build Oh, I might have been way too cheap with the tinsel, guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. I need to figure out how, how to attach in the middle. That wasn't that good, but okay. Let's let's work with this. Need to add some extra tinsel. So for the last one, I'm gonna really, you know, take a lot. Better too much than too little. Let's see how bad that's going to be, or if it's okay. Looks half decent. I just need to put some pressure there with the nails. So oh, now we're going to add some funny stuff. Uh, I got these.
So here's building up a bit again, not too much. Then uh, adding some wax to the thread. I just need to wet this one a bit. So let's see how this works. Yeah, it was a, the, the best thing would be to just restart, go back and, and take a longer piece of, of tinsel. But since I <laughs> added so much thread wraps uh, to build up the body, that wasn't really an option, especially live. It, if I wasn't live, then I would do that. So, some lovely feathers. I think they're going to do a nice job. I only have three pairs. So that means that the wheeling on top on the first step, the one that you never see anyhow, ever, since it's completely covered, I'm going to skip that one. And meanwhile, I'm going to take a huge section of silver, just to make sure that uh, it, it's not too short. And then I can put this one away, like a clean desk. There we go. So I'm just gonna have a look on this one, really lovely. Because I wanna start with the smaller ones. So I'm gonna measure and see how they are in size. This one is a perfect one in the front. Same with that one and that one. Similar shape, I think. So these, these pairs will go in the front. So then I put the wing. And these two we can start using here. Okay, good. Then we have the feathers planned out. Yeah, something like that. So I'm just gonna cut away all the fibers we don't need. There we go. Just cleaning up. So let me just turn this one around. Yes, 
just going to pair them up again. They don't really want to stay nice together, but they don't have an option. They have to. So. Hmm. No, I don't like that. Let me see. Maybe they enjoy to stay above or better. Quite thick stem on these ones. Of course, the stem broke. Ridiculous. Hmm. Then it's going to be interesting. So let me just cut the other stem as well. <clears throat> if you tie it in with a very short stem, it might be easier. Looks better. Just need to twist them a bit. Hmm. That's working. So then we need to do the pair underneath. <coughs> really evil feather to work with, I must say. Just gonna read up. Yeah, Robert, then, then it's not that easy. But uh, it's not impossible. So, oh. 
that's cleaning up. Uh, I want to pair them and see where we are. Lengthwise, it's okay. Just adding some more wax to the thread. I'm gonna shorten the stems a bit. Since they are very, very long. Gonna cut the stems here, even if the feather is not where I want it. But they are not that bad. I just need to tweak a bit. And to be honest, if I just tie it in closer, it might look better. There we are. Just going to cut a few fibers. Then we have some ostrich hair to add. Ah, oh, yeah, that, that's a nice pattern. And I had fun today. Uh, before I started this video, I tied uh, another Balishanum for fishing. It turned out quite well, not that bad. Uh, let me see. So here it is, a monster, <laughs> four over. But let's continue on this uh, fly. Just gonna wet the fibers a bit. So they stay where I want them. There we go. And the fiber on the other side. So, so let's tie in that one. Just need to wax the thread again. <clears throat> And let's see, it's turning that way. Okay. Well. Let's 
So you're just gonna secure those two child. There we go. Silver until there, until there. So, maybe a bit longer. So, Tinsel, there we go. Yeah, I was reading the chat. I take the time. Yeah, it's nice to, you know, when you tie a pad and why not tie plenty of them for fishing as well. But, but the Trahorn pad, and, uh, I wouldn't tie it for fishing. Um, but, but I will do. I will do a shatter one more uh, with the kingfisher, of course, um, for fishing. Would be nice this summer to hook a really nice one on it. I don't know. I will not even out um, the body here because we're reaching the end. So that, then you want it to get smaller. There we go. The front section is just a little bit longer than the rest. So just adding Plenty of back thread there. A bit more. And this pair going to be quite nice, hopefully. Underneath. So we'll do some measurement. So preparing this further. Thank you. 
even the stems Let's see where we are. Yeah. There we are. So I'm going to save the build of the wing and so on to where. Uh, I don't know which day is the best. Uh, Friday evening or may maybe Wednesday evening. But yeah, maybe Friday evening is better. Just gonna play a bit. I'm gonna have that feather on that side. Now it looks better. So that's how far we're gonna try today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't without the struggle, uh, but, but uh, that's good. I like when you know things uh, doesn't go as planned. Uh, that's the whole. Th yeah, it's. I like the challenge just to figure out uh, things when when uh, tying. Uh, that's the fun part. So um, keep an eye out for the next vi video where we're gonna start to. You know, apply the, the lovely wing and stuff. It's really going to be looking nice when done. And I'm going to use the time to steam up uh, this uh, fairy bluebird. So I can tie the lap wing next weekend. But I, I'm aiming on maybe Wednesday evening or Friday evening to continue with this one. I'm going to schedule it in my live uh, uh, coming lives so, so you can keep an eye out um, just reading up here yeah uh, fishing flies are uh, really fun to tie but also you know I, I like flies that you can collect um, and I'm starting to have a, a nice collection myself almost the whole cabinet there uh, is almost completely full with the uh, you know, uh, show flies, so to say. Really fun. So, uh, yeah, that, that's it uh, for today, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I wish you a lovely weekend. And, uh, yeah, work tomorrow. Fantastic. <laughs> kind of. So, um, yeah, that's it. Take care. See you guys. Bye.